My Immortal Part 1 Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway and I have long ebony black hair, that's how I got my name, with purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid-back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears and a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I'm also a witch and I went to a magic school called Hogwarts in England where I'm in the seventh year. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell, and I wear mostly black. Hey, Ebony! I looked up. It was... Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco? Nothing. But then I heard my friends call me, and I had to go away. The next day I woke up in my bedroom. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. My friend below woke up then and grinned at me. OMFG! I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday! Yeah? So? Do you like Draco? No, I so fucking don't! Yeah, right! Just then, Draco walked up to me. Hi. Hi. Guess what? What? Well, Good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade. Oh. My. Fucking. God. I love GT. They are my favorite band, besides MCR. Well, do you want to go with me? I gasped. On the night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots with high heels. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation, because I was pale anyway. I felt a little pressed then, so I slit one of my wrists. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. Hi, Draco. Hi, Ebony. When we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. Joel is so fucking hot. The night went on really well and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, Draco didn't go back into Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into... The Forbidden Forest. What the fucking hell? Draco leaned in extra close and then... Suddenly, just as I, Draco, kissed me passionately, Draco climbed on top of me and we started to make up. Then he put his thingy into my you-know-what, and we did it for the first time. What the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? It was... Dumbledore! Dumbledore made and Draco and I follow him. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall, who were both looking very angry. They were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest! Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? Because I love her! Everyone was quiet. Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad. Fine, very well. You may go up to your rooms. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. The next day I woke up in my coffin. In the great hall I ate some Count Chocolat cereal with blood instead of milk. Suddenly someone bumped into me. Bastard! I regretted saying it when I looked up, because I was looking at the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair with red streaks in it. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's all right. What's your name? My name's Harry Potter, although most people call me vampire these days. Why? Because I love the taste of human blood. Well, I am a vampire. Really? Yeah! We sat down to talk for a while. Then Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me, so I went away with him. I went upstairs excitedly with Draco. We went into his room and locked the door. Then... We started Frenching passively, and then he put his boy thingy in mine, and we had sex! Oh, Draco, Draco! All of a sudden, I saw a tattoo I had never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow through it. On it, in bloody gothic writing, were the words, Vampire. I was so angry. <gasps> you bastard! No, no! But you don't understand! No, you fucking idiot! You probably have AIDS anyway! 
I put on my clothes all huffily and then stomped out. Draco ran out even though he was naked. He had a really big you-know-what, but I was too mad to care. I stomped out and did so until I was in Vampire's classroom, where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker! Everyone in the class stared at me. And then Draco came into the room, even though he was naked. Ebony, it's not what you think! My friend Bloody Mary Smith smiled at me understatedly. Hermione was kidnapped when she was born. Her real parents are vampires, and one of them is a witch. It also turns out that her real last name is Smith, and not Granger. What is it that you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Vampire! I can't believe you cheated on me with Draco! But I'm not going out with Draco anymore! Yeah, fucking right! Fuck off, you bastard! I ran out of the room and into the Forbidden Forest, where I had lost my virility to Draco. <laughs> then all of a sudden, an horrible man with red eyes and no nose and everything started flying towards me on a broomstick. It was... Voldemort. Ebony. Thou must kill Vampire Potter. I thought about Vampire and his sex eyes and his gothic black hair and how his face looks just like Joel Madden. No, Voldemort! Thou must! If thou dost not, then I shall kill thy beloved Draco. How did you know? Voldemort got a dude you're so retarded look on his face. I have to lick Nisus. And if you doth not kill Vampire, then thou know what will happen to Draco. Then he flew away angrily on his broomstick. I was so scared and mad, I didn't know what to do. Suddenly Draco came into the woods. Draco! Hi! Hi. I'm sorry I got all mad at you, but I thought you were che you cheated on me. That's okay. And went back into Hogwarts together making out. I was really scared about Voldemort all day. I was even upset went to rehearsals with my gothic metal band Bloody Gothic Rose 666. I am the lead singer of it, and I play guitar. People say that we sound like a cross between GC, Slipknot, and MCR. The other people in the band are Bloody Mary, Vampire, Draco, Ron, although we call him Diablo now, and Hargrid. Ebony, are you okay? What the fuck do you think? Voldemort came, and the fucking bastard told me to fucking kill Harry. But if I don't kill Harry, then Voldemort will fucking kill Draco. Why didn't you fucking tell me? Then he ran out crying. We practiced for one more hour. Then suddenly Dumbledore walked in angry. What have you done? Ebony Draco has been found in his room. He committed suicide by slitting his wrists. And I ran to my room crying myself. Dumbledore chased after me shouting, but he had to stop when I went into my room because he would look like a bird that way. Then I slit both of my wrists. They get all of my clothes, so I took them off and jumped into the bath angrily while I put on a Linkin Park song at full volume. I was so fucking depressed. I got out of the bathtub. Then I looked out of the window and screamed. Snap was spying on me, and he was taking a videotape of me, and Lupin was masticating to it. Ew, you fucking perv, stop looking at me naked. Are you pedos or what? Hargrid ran outside on his broom and said, everyone, we need to talk. What do you know, Hargrid? You're just a little Hogwarts student. I may be a Hogwarts student, but I'm also a Satanist. This cannot be. There must be other factors. You don't have any! Why are you doing this? Because... Because... Because you're Gothic? Because I love her!